Hello everybody, welcome back to Season 33 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we're here at ISM Raceway for the running of the ISM Connect 500. It wraps up a triple header here at ISM Raceway and Pokemon Cup Series Goes West continues with the second of four races in the West Coast. So here we go on the poll. Today we have the 9 car of Sebastian Kukulon. And Donovan Duthin in the 43 will share the front row alongside him. Row 2 we have Eli Bright and Diego Yepes who won our last race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We'll see if we can go 2 for 2 in PCS Goes West. O'Neill Balvin and Jonathan Wong start in row 3. Then there's Cassandra Kirker and Alex Hawkins in row 4. And row 5 we'll have Carter Friesen and the driver in the 33 today. None other than Leia Walker. So already the cars will roll off the track for a 32 lap race around ISM Raceway. Two races went well, so let's see if this one will be the best of all three of them. It should be because it's the Cup Series. Sebastian Kukulon with his first pole ever. Can he get his first win ever in that nine car? We're about to find out. Here we go. Green flag in the air in the ISM Connect 500 at ISM Raceway. Right off the bat, two Hedrick cars, 1 2 now. Kukulon versus Bright. Ooh, 3 1 battle. And there was a, already a first lap caution. How about that? Caution on the very first lap of the race. Oh, the 11 spins into Corson and they crash. Now there's piling up again. And the yellow's out already on the first lap of the race. Yellow came out on the very first lap of the race. Angel Vera got taken by Wayne Carson right down the corner. And then the pile up began. Everyone just got piled up. Oh, what a mess. An even bigger mess is these guys wrecked out in the first lap of the race. What happened was Acevedo... Oh, wow. 92 of Johnny Gardner spun and went into Acevedo and Rich Roy. Daniel Bouchard also was hit. That's what brought the first caution out. A lot of cars are going to be out of this race already. Oh wait, no, three are out of this race. Steve Morgan, Grayson Acevedo, Daniel Bouchard. Wow, I thought there was going to be more. Okay. But anyway, after all that chaos, Sebastian leads back to green. Here comes Eli Bright down low. Can he get the pass on the nine? He will. And look at O'Neill Belvin trying to pass. Three wide. Belvin getting low. Trying to get by the 88. Oh wow, what a run by Bright. Nearly in the wall though. But Eli Bright gets that lead. For now, here comes Belvin again. And he gets it now. He finally clears the 88. Hawkins in second place. He's got second from both Hedrick cars. Both Hedricks down to third and fourth. And uh, nine car trying to hang on over his own teammate. Ooh, a little tight there, but Kukulon able to get through for third place. And O'Neill Balvin leads for now. Defending series champion tries to win again here in ISM. So Balvin, he won both the regular season title and the championship last season in a dominating fashion. He led everybody with four wins. And now O'Neill Balvin's trying to win again. Trying to get that first win of the season to make him eligible again for the playoffs, possibly. If he has enough points at the end. Yeah. 
And Alex Hawkins down low, and he's gonna get the lead away. He's gonna get sec, and he's still in second place. Hawkins now trying to find an opportunity to make a pass. Jonathan Wong in fifth. Wong moves up over Donovan Duthit. That's him in the 43 car. It looks like Eli Bright's gonna try to pass Kukul on his own teammate. Both running for Hedrick. Nine and 88. But for now, the 23 and 13 battle for the race lead. A little over halfway. No, a little behind halfway, I should say. And Riley Spurley, too, makes the pass over Leia Walker. Oh, I hope Leia doesn't get in the wall. And no, she does not. A little close call there. Three point battle here between Priya McShane, James Richardson, and Billy Bishop. And 17 gets by. Here comes Logan Bradley in that 19 car. Trying to pass by. And would you look at the 22 moving to fourth. Ooh, 88 smacks the wall. Not good. 88 just smacked the wall. See some damage here. He's going to lose a couple spots. Battle for the lead. Here comes Alex Hawkins. A little loose. A little bit loose in the corner. Still trying to race hard to get his the lead back. Got it. Forced the 23 up in the wall. And Alex Hawkins is leading the race. And what a run by Alexander Rowe. No wait, not sorry. Jonathan Wong. I'm sorry. Jonathan Wong in fourth. Wong has done really well, and he's now running fourth place. Now Yin Canario is going to try to get past Eli Bright in the third position. As Bright continues to drop after hitting the wall, losing a lot of spots. And there's another Hedrick car running the top ten. That's Cassandra Kirker in the 24. A lot of young talent in this Hedrick team. Now Cassandra Kirk are going to try to move up over Donovan Duthit, who actually won a couple races back in it uh, a couple races ago. I believe that was Atlanta. I thought I might add next week is going to be a race at Auto Club, and a lot of these guys have experience at Auto Club with the exception of the rookies. But it'll be very interesting to see what happens in Auto Club because that, that track is really fast. Track is very, very, very fast, so expect a lot of action to happen at Auto Club. At Auto Club. Now we have passed the halfway point here at ISM Raceway, and Alex continues to lead up in front over O'Neill Balvin, who's defending champion. So it would be huge for Alex Hawkins to win here today. And defeat the defending series champion. But you never know what happens. So a lot of things can happen. 95 that is Carter Friesen. And he's up into the top 12. Make the pass on Riley Spurley Tube. A lot of cards very slow. I wonder if they're going to catch up to the slower traffic. Maybe not because they may have to come down pit road later in the race. We haven't seen him come down pit road here today. There might be pit stops near the end of the race. But right now Alex Hawkins, he's not worried about that. And now they're taking pit stops right on cue. They're taking pit stops right now. Okay. I see where this is going. Zach Fitzwater was one of the early drivers on to Pitt Road. He came down Pitt Road. Priya McShane also as well. And some cars are getting out early. The, one of them came out first. Cody Smart. Wonder if that's a wise decision to pit a little a lap earlier than all the other drivers in the field. Let's see who's out first. It looks like it's Hawkins. And it is. Oh, yes, it is Hawkins. Kukulon came out second over the other cars. 
Oh, is Balvin going to catch up to the field? And it looks like he might. So they'll cycle back through. I'm not sure who leads here now, but they're saying the 22 led the lap. That is um, Jonathan Wong, who just came on pair road. He's out of pair road now. Wong just came out of pair road. He was scored as the race leader, and I'm not sure if he's going to be back as the leader now. Let's see. Oh, no, he's not. <clears throat> he just got passed by Hawkins. So it looks like Pit Stops will cycle out, and with 11 to go, it might be Alex Hawkins leading. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, it is. It's Alex Hawkins. So Alex Hawkins leads the field. A uh, big lead over the 22 of, Alec of um, Jonathan Wong. And Cassandra Kirker moves up to third place. Not bad. So this might be this might be a one-stop race. They pitted on lap 20 to 22. Might be a one-stop race. Hawking's hoping that a caution doesn't come out. If the caution does come out, though, then it's gonna change. It'll change everything. It's gonna change everything. <laughs> Might be a different choice of strategy. There's a gap between Hawkins and Wong. And they got lap traffic up ahead. Uh, Brandon Tharp in the 18 is the slowest among the remaining drivers. Question is, will they catch up to him? Will 13 be able to catch him? Looks like they're running the exact, almost, well, a little faster, I'd say, than the 18, but maybe it might not be possible they're going to catch him. I don't think so. From the looks of it, I kind of don't think they're going to catch him. Then again, though, they're running like 10 miles per hour. Oh, wait, they're running almost the same speed into the corners. Yeah, it doesn't, wait, well, yeah, it lo doesn't look like they're going to catch him. And, oh, Richardson slow, Olvera is slower with more damage. So, Angel Olvera might be the one they'll catch. So, I'm definite. It's, it looks like for sure they're going to catch Angel Olvera. Running way slower than Hawking. So, they might catch Olvera in the final laps. So, we might see a uh, change here if Hawking's can get by the eleven. That's if a caution does not come out for whatever reason with six laps to go. And now I see Sebastian Kukulon has moved up to third again. And Cody Smart, what a run he's had in fifth place. Smart moves up. Those pit stops have helped him out. He's now in the top five. So nice impressive run for the 38 car. Five to go for the 13 of Alex Hawkins. And they're approaching the 11 fast. Wonder how this is going to work out. Oh boy. Will Hawkins get by the 11? Will the 22 be able to take advantage of Hawkins passing by the lap car? Will Overa surrender so that Ove Hawkins can get by? Four to go. It's been a great, well, it's not been a great past couple seasons for Alex Hawkins. He's been on a dry spell. Now he's ca caught up with the 11 car. Oh boy, this is going to be fun to see if he's going to be able to pass him. He should be able to. And he's going to go low for three to go. And it appears it looks like no problems. Going to pass by all very easily. And that was probably the only thing he needed to do other than hang on for the next two and a half laps to win the race. So he did it. Olvera has clean air now. But with two laps to go, anything can happen. A caution could come out to send this race to overtime. But like I said earlier, Alex Honkins, he's been on a dry spell the past couple seasons. So finally, at last, he might try... He might win again after being like down low among the drivers lately so far but this might be the comeback year he's been looking for for Alex Hawkins 
White flag in the air with one to go, and nice, um... Wong got by the 11 car, but he's not going to even become close to Alex Hawkins. This was his race. To lose, took advantage, and he is going to pull away with the race win. And Alex Hawkins will come off the final turn. He'll take the checkered flag in the ISM Connect 500 at ISM Raceway. So what a run for Alex Hawkins. He dominates the rest of the race to win here at ISM. What a way to get back into victory lane. He's been he was in the draw It was in a dry spell in the past couple seasons, but now Hawkins is back in victory lane. He's waited a long time to come back to victory lane and now he finally gets his time back. Results are on the left of your screen. And only three cars um, retired from the race. So we only had one caution the entire um, run. And uh, that was pretty impressive for a track like this. Usually uh, we, ha we would have wreck fests here at this exact version. But this time it was a little calmer than before, uh, usual. It's only a wreck, uh, one caution the first lap, and that was it. So I'm impressed with that. But what a run for Alex Hawkins. He's he's back in um, victory lane today. About time he uh, finally got another victory. And uh, let's look at where our next race is going to be. Our next next weekend, the Truck Series will be off, but the X Series and Cup Series will both be running at Auto Club Speedway. Pokemon Cup Series goes west, continues there, and the X Series, but before that, the X Series runs... Um, Auto Club, and I thought I might add um, before we go that it'll be named the the Auto Club race will be named the Lombard Bros Gaming 339 uh, to celebrate um, the Lombard Bros um, Lombard Bros Gaming on making it to the Xfinity Series, uh, sponsoring Ryan Sieg's 39 during the Xfinity race in um, a couple weeks ago in the real one and the auto club so I thought I have a race named after them to celebrate this occasion and then we have of course the auto club 400 in the cup race after that so it's gonna be an exciting weekend at auto club speedway and then after that the X series is going to be heading to Road America and the cup series is going to be heading down to Sonoma so the truck series will be off for a couple weeks and then after the cup and X series run in New Hampshire the truck will return to Chicago Motor Speedway for a standalone weekend. After that, we'll head to Chicagoland for all three series. And a couple races we'll have. Um, and then Bristol is all three series as well. And we, I'm not going to go through the rest of the entire schedule because it would take too long. But just so you know, next weekend is Auto Club, the X and Cup only. And then after that, Road America for the X series only. And then after that... Sonoma for the Cup only, and then New Hampshire for the Cup and X Series, and then before we head to the standalone truck race, where it'll be the first truck race in a while, that will be in Chicago. So, I'm finally going to show you guys the point standings for all three series at the end of this video, so b stick with, stay tuned for that, and uh, that's where you know where your driver stands in points. So, um, hope to see you guys all uh, next time at Auto Club will join Hawkins in Victory Lane as we'll, we say good, goodbye for now. But we'll see you at Auto Club Speedway next weekend.